Today we'll be walking through few of the basic troubleshooting steps on Digital Workplace product. DWP logs is referred for application issues. So let us navigate to the file. We can see all the current application logging gets captured here. So on DWP 19.02 and beyond, we can enable the debug mode under DWP admin console. To configuration, if I scroll down there is a option called logging. We have an option to turn the logging to debug mode. So this is the URL from which you can directly download the dwp.log file. So as soon as you hit this URL, the file will get downloaded URL. Next we have connect dwp.properties file. It enables disable application features such as notification, FTS, server group, social config. So let us navigate to this file. So this is under this path. Under Tomcat, we have external conf. We can find connector properties. All the social port and host name must be defined in connect dwp properties file and should be consistent with server.xml file of dwp which we'll talk in next set of configuration files. So let us open this particular file. So here we can see all the notification related configuration of DWP. So if you scroll at the very top of the file, we can see all social connection settings has been defined here. Social port needs to be enabled in the firewall. If you have a server group environment, make sure that only one server is set as master and only one of the notification polar enabled under connect DWP dot properties. So if you have primary server, the master dot server should be true. If I scroll a bit down, it will show all the notification related contents. So here we have master.server as false setting over here. And rest of the servers, like your secondary server, have master.server is equal to false and notification polar.enable is equal to false. So only make sure that the primary DWP server has master server as true. Next, we have server.xml file. This defines social port, HTTP, HTTPS port for DWP application, clustering, session persistence, etc. So this is the path where you can find it. And we'll open this particular server.xml. And if we scroll down, you can see all the social related setting has been defined here. So here, all the connection timeouts, port, protocol has been defined here. So we have port defined as 9001. So let's try to update it with some other value like 9000. And we'll save this file. This will require again a restart of Tomcat. So as you can see from 9001, it is not accessible. And we'll update this one to 9000, the one which we have reconfigured it. And we'll head the URL and refresh it. And we can see the DWP URL is accessible from now. Thank you.